showing you the presenter today our uh, online note sharing app called Notebolt. My name is Declan and I'm the CEO. I'm Sean and I'm the CTO. I'm John and I'm the CFO. Okay, so just to give a brief overview of the services that our website is going to be providing. Uh, so the first service is a note sharing application. So uh, basically students are going to be able to go on the site and upload notes that they've taken, either uh, photocopy a PDF or type notes and upload them based on what class the notes are for. And uh, so then anyone who's in the same student organization as that student who uploads it will then have access to those notes. And then so the next is the class list. And that is uh, an easy avenue for people to go on and see which students uh, in their friend group, so in the same student organizations as, as them, have taken uh, one of their concurrent classes previously or are taking it at the same time so they can go and get advice from people who have taken it before or have somebody to study with who's taking it at the same time as them. So our market has the potential to be just about every college student, uh, more specifically being the student organizations that they're involved in. Uh, for us, we're going to be targeting UW-Madison where there's over 750 student organizations and then Hopefully extending into the Big Ten where there's over 8,300. <coughs> On average, these organizations have about 20 members. We're going to be targeting the bigger ones like the professional societies, fraternities, and sororities that have at least 40 members. Um, and with this target market, we'll be able to not only realize a great potential growth, but also <coughs> expand to as many campuses as we can, as quickly as we can, with the resources that we have. Moving on to our competitive advantage, uh, the main competitive advantage that we have is our pricing model with a subscription-based pricing model. It's going to be $45 per semester per organization. For our target market, this comes out to be just about $1 per student per semester in comparison to our competitors who, have, who offer pricing models where the students have to pay individually for each single note, uh, set of notes that they want. Additionally, by being organization driven, we believe that we can thrive because students will be able to meet with and connect with their friends and peers instead of some random people over the internet. Uh, therefore, if you have questions outside of the notes, you can always contact somebody in your group who's taken the class before, for example, and ask to be tutored or ask for study notes or anything. Okay, so for the revenue model, as Schulte said, we're going to be doing a semesterly subscription, which is $45 a person. And the reason why this is so important is because some uh, groups that have done this in the past, where they do a per notes basis, have had some trouble with legal issues with uh, codes of conduct of the university selling individual copyrighted material. So as a subscription basis and not a per notes basis, we're just giving people access to the website and uh, not selling copyrighted material per se, and then another source of revenue is going to be relevant ads on the website, such as Shag or college clothing apparel websites that um, are going to be directed towards our target market, which is college students. All right, so for our marketing strategy, we're going to position ourselves as a more affordable, community-based um, online service, and we're going to pitch to um, marketing organizations on campus for them to help us um, kind of market our service to the rest of the university. Um, and then we're going to employ brand ambassadors within those organizations so they can go around and pitch and um, work with our marketing department on creating um, slides, slideshow presentations as well as um, promoting at student organization fairs, which are going to be one of the most important parts of our marketing strategy because we're going to have our entire target market essentially all at UW at the Cole Center. Um, and so with the student org fairs, we hope to um, work with the organizers of the fair to see if we can get a booth um, at the student org fair and for our booth on the map to be highlighted and we might pay some extra money to do that to sponsor the, um, the, the fair um, and then we're also going to have those brand ambassadors walking around at the, to different student orgs promoting our service um, and then with the event promotion we're hoping to target events that are well attended and uh, by a diverse group of students um, particularly like uh, for, you know, sporting events and other stuff like that um, to really kind of get our name out. We're going to hopefully sponsor a lot of different events with our kind of slogan. Um, and then we're also going to employ like online marketing um, through sites like Reddit and Chegg, um, just general kind of college-related um, 
websites where we're going to buy ad space and we're going to use like moving ads as opposed to static ones, so it's kind of like more attention grabbing. And then we're also going to employ um, SEM or search engine marketing through um, Google AdWords. Um, we're going to initially use this as kind of like a like a test at the beginning and spend maybe ten dollars a day, and then once people start. Um, recognizing our brand and searching for it on Google, we're going to ramp up that spending to hopefully 50 to like $100 a day. And then so our team has got a very sta standard kind of um, lean structure because we don't want to scale too quickly. So as of now, we've got um, a CEO who's responsible for business development and overall strategy. Um, and underneath him is the vice president of marketing um, who will be responsible for brand development and promotion. And uh, he or she will oversee the brand ambassadors that we employ at each different campus through different <coughs> marketing organizations. Um, and then the VP of operations is going to play a bit of a smaller role at the beginning, handling deliveries of technical equipment. Um, but we want him or her to kind of create um, efficiency plans for once we scale up. Um, the CFO is going to be responsible for managing and creating investor relations as well as allocation of funds. <coughs> Um, and he will be assisted by the VP controller who's going to be assisting in our accounting department. Um, initially, we're going to employ um, uh, an accounting company like Deloitte or something like that to help us out. Um, but then we're going to transition to um, an actual controller where we can have some in-house services. And then he's going to be assisted by the treasurer who's going to also assist the CFO with uh, financial plans. And then lastly, the CTO is kind of going to be the lifeline of the company. Um, developing and managing the website, and he's going to be assisted by, assisted by two IT specialists who are going to do the actual coding and the behind the scenes work. Okay, so for funding, we're going to be seeking $50,000, and uh, so the allocation of those funds is going to be towards the online marketing campaign that Declan touched on before, getting those Google AdWords, and uh, our advertisements up on other sites, and then also a big chunk of that money is going to go towards the actual development of the site as well as the hosting space for that site and management of the servers. And here's just a quick picture of our, uh, our current launch page that we've got running. So thank you. Thank you.